All right, I um, want to explain the iBot pod. I've been getting some questions from fans and I've seen a lot of confusion online. So the iBot pod is uh, one of the latest settlement tools you can build with the Automaton expansion, or the Automaton add-on. And when you open up your shop, go to special and it's right there, iBot pod. It's not too expensive. And the idea behind it is that you can s send this iBot out into the uh, the Commonwealth to collect scrap for you. However, in my opinion, it's a complete waste of time. So let me show you how to, how to use it. So you go into your iBot pod and you can have your iBot uh, search for components, ammos, or explosive, uh, including even fusion cores, which is useful for those of you using um, power armor, a lot of power armor. Um, but many of us are going to be using the components version uh, to get more scrap for our settlements, right? So I did this once before I, where I had my iBot look for nuclear material. And when I when he found it, I, I only got three. And then I had him go look for some copper, and I only got one. So let's try ballistic fiber this time. So you click on the item you want your iBot to look for, and then you get this message saying, now you need to wait. It opens up, and your little iBot flies out and goes searching for your materials, right? So, now you have to wait, and this can take a really long time. So let's actually go somewhere. Let's fast travel to Sanctuary. And I don't know how long you have to wait, but uh, I was at the King, the Kingston Lighthouse, or whatever it's called. So that's completely on the other side of the map. And we're fast traveling all the way to Sanctuary, so many hours are, are ticking by. And uh, let's see if it's actually done. Ah. All right, well, I'll go defend Grey Garden later, but as you can see, we didn't get an alert. What happens is you get an alert. Uh, something's going on out there. You get an alert when, when uh, your iBot has found something, and we haven't got that yet. So let's fast travel somewhere else that takes a long time. Let's go to the Museum of Witchcraft. So we went from one side of the map to the other side of the map. And let's see if our iBot has found anything. And there we go. Complete. Wait for the iBot to locate ballistic fiber. Recover ballistic fiber from the Wilson Automatoys factory. So let's go to the Wilson Automatoys factory and collect this ballistic fiber. Many people wrongly assume that you send the iBot out and it goes and collects the components for you, but no, it doesn't. It updates your quest log with a miscellaneous quest and you have to go out and actually fetch the materials. So it's a reconnaissance iBot. It isn't a salvage or scrap, or, or it, it, it isn't a salvage bot. It doesn't go find it for you. So here we are at the Wilson Automatoys factory. And as you can see, our uh, compass is, there it is. So the, the ballistic fiber is up there somewhere. Oh yeah, I'm recording. Okay, so let's go take a look at this ballistic fiber and see how well we did. And two. So after all of that, we get two ballistic fiber. So let me tell you how I think this is useful. It's useful if you are end game and you've cleared every single area and now you're doing a lot of settlement building and you're just waiting for areas you've previously cleared to respawn and you'd like to be alerted when they respawn so you can send out an iBot and the iBot is only going to find resources at places where you need to clear that's just what the way the game works so you can go find some of those resources and clear some of these enemies in the meantime because that's the game 
but as a tool for actually gaining more resources, it's not useful at all. A full 24 hours or more has to go by before your iBot discovers anything. And then when he does discover something, you have to physically go out and get it, which is going to take you time. And once you get it, you only get one or two. One or two of the components you need. The last time I did this, I wanted to find copper. I got one copper. After all... <laughs> After all this, I only got one copper. So, use it for really rare materials that you use little of. Like, I'm sure fusion cores, it, it's pre it may be useful if you're trying to find fusion cores and you're end game and you don't have nuclear physicist and you use power armor all the time and you're really running short on fusion cores. Yes, maybe this is going to be useful for fusion cores. But for anything else, it's not very useful. So... Uh, let me know if, if I'm wrong, if you disagree, if you think that I'm missing something really big, uh, but that's my opinion on how the iBot works. So there you go. I hope that was useful. Thanks.